being a gym bro is like one of the biggest, it's one of the most important things in life, right? hundred percent. Is it, is it still for you? Yeah. So yeah, take us back sure, to the beginning. So back to your, back to your first yeah. question of, uh, where, where did I come from with all this? It's, um, I guess, I guess it started in college when I really started getting into fitness and lifting. And, uh, so backing up even further, yeah. uh, I was really overweight in high school, like really fat. And you were overweight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like, uh, I was like the chubby kid in my, in my crew. And, um, yeah, it wasn't until I joined swim my sophomore year and I only joined swim because I didn't make the soccer or basketball team because I got cut because I was too chubby. Did you get actually get cut because you're too chubby or you just sucked? Well, I knew what it, I knew what it was. You know, I couldn't keep up with the other guys and like, sure, maybe I, I sucked because I, I couldn't <laughs> run. I couldn't run long distances. So anyways, I joined swim because there was no tryouts. Uh, and I'm like, God, gosh, damn it. Like I have to wear a speedo and I'm like, I'm like rolling here. Yeah. Um, is that what motivated you to like lose weight? hundred percent. I would like shred like crazy from swim. Yeah. It and swimming is honestly one of the best exercises period. hundred percent. And then I started, I started growing lats and my, sh my delts started growing. And you're like, wait a second, and just was, from swimming. Yeah. So there was no weightlifting at that point. No, very little, but it was like that, the classic, like high school. Yeah. Bro split, like just figuring it out. You didn't, you didn't get into working out early, like training. No, no I didn't re like really start hitting the gym until my junior year of college. When what I, the fuck? yeah. So oh, my shit. junior year of college, which is what, four years ago. Yeah. Four and a half years ago. Um, yeah. That's when I really started hitting it. And, um, cause so I studied abroad my sophomore year of college, and when I came back, I was chubby again. I was eating baguettes, croissants, and schnitzel yeah. every day of my life. <laughs> so much beer and wine. It was great. Wait, wait. Even at a younger age? or Well, over there, it's legal. I was 19. It's, it's legal then, 19. In Europe? Oh, yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. yeah, you can drink beer at 16, I think. They should do that here, huh? Should... I don't think people here can handle it. You're, uh, why? Cause there's a bunch of idiots out here to be honest. <laughs> no, dude. I, listen, that's what I. That's the answer that I was going towards. Cause I feel the same. It's like they we we like I don't know. We we have like all these different rules and shit. And I know because I've been to Europe, been to Italy. You can like drink wine and like there's like no preservatives. And it's actually way better and shit. But um, yeah, I don't think we're ready for shit over here. Like we seem to have like I don't know. It's dude. just a different culture. Cause here it's like you drink to get drunk and like you know party and have fun and this and that where I most of the time in Europe it's it's like a cultural thing it's like oh we're gonna share wine at dinner and like relax and you know Let, it let's tastes, just like it tastes good let's just debauchery getting fucked up yes oh, I see. exactly so, so so I get back and then I'm like I need a shred again and like I can't have this I'm, I'm chubby again so big body dysmorphia guy and so I started lifting and, uh, and my pops, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, if you don't know, yeah. uh, we were, we were getting there. And, uh, so he gave me the bodybuilding encyclopedia, his, his bodybuilding encyclopedia. I got to say this before you continue the story. That was one of the first things that I read, um, when I was like fucking 16 that I was like, oh, I love this. Oh this yeah. Is one of the first things that I read, I read this shit. I remember I must've read this thing like nine fucking times front to back this big ass book and uh yeah it was it, it was amazing and i did but also well we'll talk about it later on i'll let you finish your story but he did so much fucking volume dude a lot of volume <laughs> like, so that's why so that so well yeah i'll get to that yeah, in a second we'll so, talk about it later. so i go so i i open up the book and he's like look everything every question that you have it's right in here so just do your research study it and if you have any extra questions, you can come to me whenever. I was like, great. Yeah. And then, but I took that to heart. And so I, I really just do dove in there and just like nonstop, just only bodybuilding encyclopedia. And then I got cut again. And, and then that really started my addiction, uh, to the gym, to the gym. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it, it became totally part of my life. Like every day, if I skip a day, um, I actually just saw a video that you, you put out like about rest days and like 
I really do suffer from that like mental state when I skip a damn like I'm like going crazy or going backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Like I can, I can see it in my body, even though nothing happened. Yeah. But I'm like, oh, I can. Well, it's super common. I think the reason why people feel that way is obviously like if you're like a, a, I guess in a sense of like an overachiever, if you become like hyper focused on your body being a certain way and like looking a certain way, then what happens is like during a literal rest day or like a few rest days, your body, your muscles tend to like not hold as much water because you're not you're not as active right so things will shrink you know like when you get a pump you're like damn i look amazing right, right. that like art it's not artificial but that temporary growth where you're like fuck let's get a fucking photo for ig and shit get a little yeah. video um it's it's temporary just like when you stop training for like a few days like your body's holding is going to hold on to less water in the muscle you're not going to be as full so like people will see themselves in the mirror and be like oh i'm getting fucking small but it's not like it's not like your muscles just disappearing because you miss one day or a week. It's it, but it is a mental thing that fucks people up. 